I've been using Runway's AI tool and I actually stumbled upon this kind of technique you could do with their kind of image to image video generation. Now you can generate five or 10 second shots using literally just the first image and then the last image and then it creates five and 10 second shots in between those. I've been getting some wild results so I wanted to try out just some real natural shots. Here I took a shot, a zoomed in shot and then a wide shot and see if I can create sort of like a zoom effect with that. See how that works. This first shot ended up okay. As you can see, the trees kind of disappear and fade away. So it kind of just cross faded the shots. Shout out to Adrian, my last video, an old friend of mine commented saying that he used to shoot ads, little fake ads for Nike and Adidas and basketball. They were really into basketball, I remember, and uh, shoot fake ads. So I, th I was thinking I'm going to do this like shot here where it's a, just a slow dolly. Then I'm going to try a shot where it starts kind of wide, use this as an image, and then I'm going to move over roughly and see what runway can actually do with this shot just using those two shots. Overall, the background worked really well. As you can see, the, it doesn't know how to decipher the rim to create like a proper rim the whole time. It kind of doubles it up. I'm curious on what it would do with just two really similar shots. What I have been doing, and I'll try one, try a shot here in the vlog, is I've been taking a normal shot, like a still from a footage, and then sort of in Photoshop adding to it and then sometimes um, cropping the image out, making it a little wider or zoomed it in closer and uh, adding stuff in Photoshop and then creating a five second shot, kind of interpolating between those scenes. And it's created some crazy results. Yeah, we'll see if I can do a couple of those. What I've really liked about Runway so far, it does kind of open up some ideas, like your brain starts thinking about like things that you haven't really thought about. I've been able to create sort of like 3D imagery uh, for visual effects shots without really knowing how to do 3D at all. <laughs> it's the one kind of thing that I've really just skipped out on and just haven't sat down and like really learned it. But you can kind of cheat it with Runway uh, to a certain degree. Again, I'm just kind of looking for two shots, a first in a last frame, and run right, we'll fill it in. I'm trying to test shot here. I'm just trying to get a good shot of something I can use for the first frame. This one worked okay. What I did is on the wide shot, I actually just photoshopped myself into the sky. The one limitation I've found with these two images things is I wish Runway had a shorter, much shorter interpolation. If it was even like 10 frames, but the fact that you have to do a five second shot is like some of it's too long. You have to speed a lot of stuff up to make like interesting transitions. It's kind of the thing I'm kind of running, running into. I thought this would be an interesting shot. See if I can take two shots from here. Oof, it's wet. <laughs> and see what that does. This one's interesting. It actually kind of creates a different dog. I also tried a shot where I used Photoshop generative fill to create like a whale. Now the whale is animated, but as you can see, it kind of like turns into the fairy, not coherent, but it's still kind of interesting. Something that just hit me while walking here. It's quite a busy day, actually. It's kind of a in interesting morning. I've always been super self-conscious shooting, especially vlog style. And I, you know, there's a lot of people with the same kind of phobia. And, but I thought it was funny because when you think about it, it's like, if somebody actually ever cared that you were doing that or worried about it, it's like, how much time do you spend like watching Netflix or movies or playing video games? like? How is that more tolerable and more accepted? I don't know, you're creating something. I think creation is always 
better than consuming. So I just choose to create instead of consume most of the time. Super curious if we can do like decent dolly shots. One really has a hard time figuring out exactly where the objects are if the shots are too different. That's what I've noticed. This last shot, I cut myself out from the first shot and put me over the house, attempting to see if I could make it kind of look like I'm jumping over the house. And I didn't, didn't think this one ended up too bad, actually. And then after, my wife told me I had to get a haircut, so she buzzed my hair off. I thought this was kind of the best result. Thanks for watching. See you next time.